Tiffany on you, you know you popping. What's up guys, I am Tiffany Blue and today I will be showing you guys how I lay and slate my closure. It's very simple, it's very easy, so I'm going to stop talking and get straight into the video. So first, I tie my hair down, of course. But let me show you guys and then the air wants to come on. So what I do is I braid my hair as close to my hairline as possible, more like a halo braid. And then I part my hair. Now that I kind of think about it, my part kind of crooked. Whatever. But I part my hair in the middle. It's not quite in the middle. Who cares? Whatever. Um, I never can get my middle part straight down the middle of my head. But by the time I put my wig on, I could kind of fix it and shift it. So it doesn't really matter. But you want to part your hair where you want your parts to lay. And then this is only if you have like a closure. I don't know how this will work with a frontal, but I know it will work with a closure. And you just want to braid your hair as close to your hairline as possible. And I like doing this because it still helps my braid, my hair. It still helps my wig lay flat. And then it keeps my wig from sliding back just in case I stretch my wig cap. And then I put this on top and kind of slide it back. Just... For protectance I guess so yeah that's that's all that I do as far as like base wise so I just put my wig on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna line your wig up where you want this is just where I swoop my hair so I'm kind of rough on my wig so if you're like dang she rough I am very much rough because my wig head is kind of my wig cap is kind of tight so I have to be kind of rough so I get it right where I want it and then I kind of lift up and see if there's any hair and I move it out the way I have my wig on it's just on it's not pinned down it's not glued down it's not none of that so now that I have my wig on it's just on I don't have nothing going on um my closure is bleached but sometimes some days depending on some days uh, I do put concealer on my wig, but this is for like if you don't have time to do that But you still want a natural looking closure now as you can see you can you could see This and we don't want to see that nobody wants to see This so I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do without having to Use concealer or all that extra stuff. So what I just do is I take a comb and as you can see you can see my comb along My closure. So I just take a comb and I move my hair out of the way. So it's not quite on my part, but it's close enough And I just move the hair out of the way that's right on the edge of my closure Okay, so what I do is See try to I want it to be flat Cause that's basically how you get a natural looking closure so I wanted to lay flat so what I do is I don't like using glue because when I do use glue it always like whitens up on me or like it lifts or like I don't like go to sleep in my wig so that just prevents the extra steps you have to take to get it off and it's just more healthier for your edges when you're not using so much glue in my opinion i hate wearing lip gloss but anyway so what i do is i take a bobby pin and you see how close my braid is i pull the wig forward and then i pin as close to my part as possible now if your wig bunches up like mine did you hold it and you kind of like pull it back and that's what i do now i can't do the other side because I don't know what the heck happened to my other bobby pin. I just had it. I don't know what happened to my other bobby pin. But you will pin the other side. And like I said, if it bunches up, you take it and you pull it back. Just be tangling because we're kind of. So this little piece, which I'm pretty sure has been annoying you. uh, You take that. And this is. If you have baby hairs on your hair, on your wig. So you take it. What I like to do is I'm going to move it a little bit forward. Because actually it wasn't over my braid on this side. So I would pin this side uh, usually. 
I don't know where my other bobby pin is. I would have to find it. Then I would take some edge control and I use um, edge wax because I have natural hair and it just gives my hair a better hold. And I put some on my edges. And then I try to figure out where or how I want this to lay. So I swoop it in front and I get right up on the closure. Like I take my edge control and I get right up on the closure. And I take my toothbrush. Then I take, I don't dip back into my edge control, but I do take my edge control. It kind of go right there because it helps it lay, but we're not done. And there you go. And then sometimes I like to get right up on the closure, but if I can't, it's okay. It's still not that blunt line going in the front of your hair. Then to make your closure look flat, I'm sorry if I'm like mumbo jumbling, but bear with me. So you take a flat iron, you can take a flat iron, you can take a curling iron, you can take a wand, and you take it and you be careful, don't burn yourself or your lace, and you kind of just go around your closure. This helps it lay flatter this helps it look more natural because you don't want to have a tent closure like where it's like just sitting on your head and this is why i braid my hair that way so it can still lay on my head and if you have thicker hair you want to take your time with you don't want to have a bulky braid you literally want to start small and probably don't get thick until you get in the bag and even then you don't want your wig to be bulky depending on how thick your hair is but I love braiding my hair down like this for wigs it's so convenient it's easy to take down just in case I do want to wear my natural hair or I need to wash it and it's just so convenient and it's a safe style like it's just the bomb it's literally the bomb so I'm just flat ironing my hair because it was really humid it rained, so I need to flat iron my hair. And if you would like to know how I wash my wigs, um, definitely let me know. And I will be happy to make a video on how I do that. It's very simple. It's very affordable because anybody got time to be spending all this money. And... That's all I do. This is all I do. It's not like all the way, oh my gosh, is that her hair? But if you're not all up on me like this and I'm just in your face and we're having a conversation, you won't even know that this is what's going on. Like if I just sit right here, you really can't tell where the closure starts. And if you even want to take a further step and add concealer, you can do that. But this is what I do when I don't want to do that. And yeah. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my closure and that's all I really do. I just make sure the base of my hair, the base of your hair is really the most important thing because that's where you can pin your hair down if you don't want to use glue or you can even sew it down if you're one of those people that like to sew on their wigs. I am a fan of sewing down my wigs. I just been too lazy to do that because I just like the idea of just coming home and just snatching it all off. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>